Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an outline in Inkscape. This outline is really easy to make. It's one simple step, but there's a lot of different things that you can do with this outline. So let's just jump right in and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so here we are in Inkscape. You can see, let me change the color of this. This is the outline that we're going to make. And then you'll notice I had it on this base and it was a different color before. Um, so you can do it like this. You can have the outline, change that back to something you can see. You can have it filled in. You can have it on top of this. There's a lot of different things that you can do with it, but let's do the basics of how to make this outline. I'm going to delete what I have here and we're going to start from scratch. Okay, so setting up your um, Inkscape page. When you download it, it's going to have some defaults set in. I have another video that I'm going to link to to show you how to download and set up Inkscape so that as you're following along with me, your screen looks like my screen. Okay, so first of all, we want to bring in some text. You can type a T and then click and it will bring up your cursor for you or you can come over here click on your text tool and then click your screen no matter what I'm going to click out of this just so that you can see what I'm talking about no matter what after you get your text icon you have to click on the screen or you won't be able to type okay so we've got that let's type the word outline okay this font is called Bumping Unicorn. I will link to it. I got it from Creative Fabrica. Um, it's a really cute font. So we're just going to work with this for now. Okay, so I've got the font. If I want to do anything else, I have to click out of it. If I try to make this bigger or do anything, I'm just getting the text cursor moved around. So I'm going to use my selector. I'm going to click out of this. And now I can make this word bigger. So let's just kind of arrange it and you'll notice I'm able to scale up and down in all kinds of different ways because my screen is not locked. If I lock my screen, I only have the option to make it larger and smaller. Okay, now that I've got it looking how I want it, I am going to leave my screen locked so that I don't mess that up at any point in the future. Okay, here's the word we're going to start with. If you are familiar with Inkscape at all, you know that in order to um, edit things or change them up, you really need them to be a path. If you're not familiar, just know. As soon as you do something in Inkscape, you need to turn it into a path so that you can edit it from there. Okay, so here's my word. You see if I click on it, well, come here, what happened? If I click on it, down here it says text in the jumping unicorns. Okay, well again, I need this to be a path. So I'm going to come to path, object to path, and now down here I don't have anything that says text. I have group of seven objects. Perfect. That means each one of these is a path. My O is a path. My U is a path. My T is a path. That's what we need to be able to edit things in Inkscape. We need everything to be a path. But all of these are separate paths. For me, in this particular thing, I want this to be one word, not individual letters. So I need to make this all one path, which is really easy to do. I'm going to drag a box so that everything is selected. And I'm going to go to path and union. You see the little picture here? That is uniting everything. So now you'll notice before it said like seven objects and now it just says a path, one path with 194 nodes. What's a node? When I double click into this, you see these little things? These are the nodes. Um, that is for like your cutting machine. If you're using a Cricut, that tells your Cricut where to cut. Okay, so now I have a path. The whole word is one path. Nothing is going to be separate from anything else. This is what I need to create my outline. I'm going to delete this and we'll run through those again really quickly so you can see how quick that all actually happens. So here's my text. There's my word outline. 
I'm going to unlock this to get it how I want it. Lock it back up. Okay, while it is selected, path, object to path. And then I want to select each letter individually. And I had to double click out of it to get it unselected. Drag my box, each one is highlighted, path and union. Now I have my one path down here, path with 194 nodes. Great, let's make this an outline. So let's duplicate it. I hit right click and duplicate. You could have also done control or command D on your keyboard. Okay, so this is the one I'm going to turn into the outline. This one will be my original text. Okay, I want you to come over here and click on this nodes tool so that we can see all of the nodes that are available. And then I want you to go to path, linked offset. All those nodes went away, don't worry about it. There's two ways that you can do this. Do you see this one little diamond that came? You can grab this diamond and you can just make it as big or as small as you want. Or I'm gonna control C out of that so you can see the other way to do it. Look, get my nodes here, come and click into my nodes tool and hit control and the right parenthesis on your computer and it does it little by little. I'm holding down control and just hitting that right parenthesis. And every time I hit it, it gets bigger. If I hit the left parenthesis, you'll see it get smaller. Okay, I'm gonna leave it right about there. I'm not positive that's how I want it, but that's where I'm gonna leave it for now. Okay, so let's change the color of this. Let's make this one like black. Let's make it a true black. That's kind of a green black. Scrolling through my colors here. And like I said, if you did not watch that video on how to set up your Inkscape, you might not know where your colors are or they might be somewhere else. Okay, so I've got that black. Now, let's just move this up. It's kind of behind it, right? That's what these arrows are for. This moves things to the bottom. This moves things to the top. This moves things one step at a time, up or down. So this is selected and I wanna move it to the top. There it is, yay. Okay, that is probably gonna be a pretty good size for the outline to begin with, great. Okay, let me change the color of this one here. Let's get it more of that um, greenish color that we had before. Okay, that's pretty. Okay, so you can just eyeball where you want this. You can kind of have it over to the side. You can eyeball and see if that's centered to you or you can drag a box around both of your items and you can come into your alignment tool. I have mine over here because I use it frequently. If you don't see it over here, you can just click this little arrow right here and it will give you some other options. It is the um, align and distribute tool. So you just click that and it will pull this little icon up for you. Okay, so now, Get these two selected with your align and distribute tool up here. You can center horizontally and vertically, and it is perfectly centered. Okay, here's where we're going to start making some more creative things. So I'm going to take my original design. I've selected it. I'm going to duplicate. I just hit right click and duplicate. I'm going to bring this one down for now. What I'm going to do here is select both of these. And I'm going to cut this solid layer out of the background layer behind it. It's like slice if you have Cricut Design Space. They are both selected. I want you to come to Object. Sorry, I want you to come to Path Difference. Okay, it sliced out that layer from inside of it. So now you can see this is a true outline. We have just created the outline in Inkscape. There's other things that we can do from here. We can just put this back into the middle of it. Um, let me change the colors here. I'm going to make this outline that kind of bluish color. I know it's hard to see on the screen, but I'm going to change it back in a minute. And so here's this one. Okay. So, you know, we've got this, we can just put inside the outline or we can make that thick background layer like we had before. 
So again, I'm going to take this and duplicate it. No matter what you're doing, you want to leave one of your original design available so you can make any edits that you want. If you edit this and you want to go back and change it, you can't really do that if you don't have your original one available. So here's my original. Let's make this black. So I'm going to come back to my colors over here. And I'm going to make it the outline like we did before, but I'm going to make it a lot thicker. So select my nodes tool, control right parenthesis, make it really thick. Or you could have done that path length offset. You could have done that as well. There's several different ways to get to these features. Okay, so here's this. Now, let me move that to the bottom. You can see that outline on it like I had in the original thing that I had up on the screen. That's not even quite big enough. Get my nodes over here, control right parenthesis, make that a little bit bigger. Okay, there we go. That's looking better. So that's like the original design that I had, but I still have this inner layer that I can come put in here if I want to. So I have got so many different things that I can do with this um, outline that I just made. And again, it's using the linked offset feature. So let me put these aside, put that up there, make this a color that we can really, really see. I'm just gonna turn it black, a good true black. Okay, we're gonna offset it one more time. We've got this as a solid path. It's all the nodes in there. I am selecting my nodes tool so that I can see my nodes. I'm gonna to come to path, linked offset, and I can drag my arrow or I can control right parenthesis. Either way is going to give me that thick, chunky, offset that I want. All right. And then you can change the colors of these things however you want them to be. But that's really all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.